This is Creative Relight, an AI power image processing tool that breaks down your videos and images into VFX passes. It automatically extracts albedos, normal, specular, and depth map, ready for creative use inside of Unreal, Blender, and After Effects. Start by downloading the software from the Creative Twins website. Once you download the software, open the installer, allow administrator permission, next is the license agreement, take a moment to review it, then accept the terms to continue with the installation. Now choose your install folder and wait for the installation to complete. The first time you launch Creative Relight, it automatically downloads the required models. Just let it finish downloading. And once it's done, the main software will launch with hardware acceleration in label for faster processing. Next, choose your process type, whether you're working with single image, a video, or image sequences. You can browse and select your file manually or simply drag and drop them directly into the app. For image sequence, select the folder containing your frames. Once imported, you can scrub through and preview each frame before processing. Now choose where your process files will be saved. Click browse to select your output folder. Creative Relight will automatically create a subfolder with all the generated paths organized. In the export component panel, choose which paths you want to generate. Creative Relight focuses on producing high quality normal map while also including albedo, specular, and depth map. Sometimes the albedo and specular passes can show visible flicker in between frames, which still needs some work. But you can try to enable temporal smoothing to help reduce that. Click on Start Processing and the software will begin processing your files automatically. Here you will see live progress updates including frame counts, speed, and estimated time. As each pass is created, it's being saved in your output folder. When processing is complete, view the process frames directly in the preview window. You can scroll through to see all the generated passes. Each one is stored in its own subfolder, making it easy to import inside of Unreal, Blender, or After Effects for relining and compositing. Now that we have our VFX passes, we can now open Unreal Engine. So we've already created our texture, image media source, and media player. We have normal, albedo, specular, and the alpha generated from our auto remover script. Let's look at our material output. We're using the default lit shading model for full PBR support. Base color combines the albedo and specular passes multiplied by brightness. Metallic tells Unreal what type of material this is. Zero means non-metal, skin, cloth, plastic. One means full metal, chrome, aluminum, etc. Most characters and props from footage stay near zero, but the control is there if you need something to behave like metal in Unreal. The specular control lets you fine-tune highlights and reflections, increase it for glossy looks or lower it for a matte finish. Roughness defines how shiny or matte your surface appears. Low values, reflective, high values, soft and diffuse. The normal map has realistic surface detail and depth, is controlled by a normal strength parameter, turn it up for more detail or down for a softer look. Alpha goes to opacity. That gives us transparency and cutout areas. You can create a material instance and adjust these parameters directly, giving you total flexibility without changing the material graph. Now you can place your subject in any scene and start lighting them right away. As promised, that's Creative Relight, our latest tool for generating VFX passes. Give it a try and let us know how it goes in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with a friend. Till next time.